Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit appearances. The library we created in Lesson 6 is selected. Let's double click to launch the appearance editor. That's where we make changes to our appearance. Notice that this appearance has moved to the document appearances section of the browser. From the appearance editor, we adjust a number of parameters. Under type, I can use ceramic or porcelain. Let's double click on this image field. Here's where we manipulate the image. We can select a new image source, and we can adjust its brightness. Invert the image by checking here. We can adjust the position with an offset in the X and Y directions. We can rotate the image. Let's go back to zero. We can specify the scale. And we can also set a repeating pattern for the horizontal and vertical directions, either tile or none. Let's close the image editor. Down below, we can set the bump map. We can use wavy and adjust the amount of the wave here, or we can specify a custom bump map. Here we can specify a relief pattern amount, and we can also adjust the relief pattern image if needed. The last option is to set the tint color. OK. And let's cancel out of the appearance editor, save our edits. Now let's select a different appearance. Let's say metal, aluminum, anodized blue. And let's change it to red. I'll rename it appropriately, red. Let's change the color to red also. I'm going to apply a relief pattern. Check this checkbox. Neural is selected. We can adjust the amount and the scale of the pattern by dragging the slider. After we're finished, click OK. Let's go back to the library. We'll drag the appearance into Category 1. Let's make some more changes now. This time I'll use a wood, birch for example, and let's double click to launch the appearance editor. Notice here how the editing parameters are a little bit different. They vary depending on the material type. Here I've got editing options that apply to wood. We can click here to change the image that we're using, and we adjust the finish, either glossy, semi-gloss, satin or unfinished. You can choose a relief pattern based on the wood grain or your own custom relief pattern. Here we're asked to specify a relief image. And we can set the tint color. After we're done, click OK and save our edits. And this concludes our tutorial about editing your appearance.